everybody Ann here sitting here on my porch having my coffee wearing my beautiful sunglasses from Van Linker and well you know what I am super tired but I have to build a chicken coop whoo look at all those parts I think I'm just gonna start by getting them all out and laying them out so I know what's what look at all these parts oh my goodness Whew. This is going to be an involved project for today. I got to get it done today. Can't just leave it laying out here like this. So I'm going to get to work. And this is what it's supposed to look like when it's finished. I did lay out all the little hardware and whatnot. They sent, looks like plenty of that. Okay. First part done. And I know I did it right because there's a little hole here. And there's a little hole here and the door jam goes in there so yeah it's coming along i <laughs> got another piece put on oh i think i'm going to be able to do this i've had to move it because i thought it was too big for that spot but it's actually i don't know i don't know if it, this is just a big coop this is awesome look at two roosting bars right on and over here there is an outside door in the back. I can completely open this up. So, I may do something. Back this closer to here, cut a hole in this, and do some kind of run or something that way. I don't know. All I know is this is gorgeous, and I hate to hide it back in here. I would love to put it somewhere where everybody can see it. <sighs> it's kind of late for that, but I think I could move this eventually if I needed to. I would just need help. All right, let's go get this finished up. I decided to move it out here, you know, because it's just gonna get bigger and heavier. So I was able to kind of carefully move it out here. And this is the front. This is where the nesting box goes. So I just gotta push on. It is officially done. That tray in the back there, there's the situation. I can't get it to fit in there properly and have the door on the other side closed but I'll figure something out for that but it's really really great okay I don't know if you can see but up underneath of these there's a little bit of ventilation right there and these little things open and close for when it's super duper hot outside this opens up for more ventilation pretty cool this is the nesting box and it's got an interesting little lock on it you got to get it to go this way pull it up Whew. three nesting boxes I had to put those hinges in I've had to put these in <sighs> yep I'll put bedding on all those although the hens I'm gonna be putting in here don't really need it this is what it looks like from in here um, and I will tell you I don't know if I really want to put that tray in I can see light under the edges, so I will likely put bricks all around the outside um, when I get enough of the paver type bricks, I'll put them all under the foundation, so that'll be great. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Closes like that. It's got a nice little roof on it and another ventilation thingy. See that? And open this door. Oh. And this is where the tray slides in. Sorry, I'm moving around so much. Um, I couldn't get it to fit in perfectly so that this door could close over here. So that means something's not square. Um, I don't care. Uh, I'll figure it out. But let's see if... Uh, <laughs> how can I see this? Um, There's two roosts right up there. I forgot to take the stickers off. Two roosts nesting boxes and then a nice yard oh my gosh this took me all day and it's super hot outside it's like 88 degrees feels like 94 but i think it looks absolutely gorgeous once i get that uh tray figured out um i'll pull it away from the front of the van i can't even talk i'm so exhausted but this is gorgeous. 
I don't know if I'm going to put any chickens in it tonight because I need to get bricks to go around the outside to where the ground is not completely, you know, all the same level. Um, I am just going to have to relax for a little while before I do anything else. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you. The little door opener thingy. See that? Open it and just put it up like that or whatever. And you can close it. I think that's pretty cool. I'm going to leave this open and see if any chickens go in. Yep, I got to remember to open this too and see what they do. Who knows? Maybe somebody will go in there. Oh, look it. I can even use that to keep that window open. Give them a little bit more ventilation. I hope somebody goes in there. I did get it done. Yep, I got that thing put together today. I did it all by myself and there were some tricky moments because you had to hold the wood and drill at the same time and there wasn't anything supporting it from underneath. Uh, but I figured it out and I got it together. I think that when I pulled it, I kind of got it out of, you know, being square and that's why I've got the problem with the um, getting the tray in so tomorrow I'm going to tinker with it a little bit more and see if I can get that in there but like I said I'm not convinced that I even want to leave the tray in there um, I know it makes things easier to clean but it's such a smooth sl slick surface um, I'm almost more inclined just to let them have the ground but the ground does get wet I have to think about that when it rains it gets really wet and if I could get that tray in there properly, then I won't have to worry about when it rains because they'll always have a nice um, dry surface to be on. So yeah, I need to figure that out. I need to get that back into being square so I can fit that tray in and it'll, it'll fit properly. I'm sure I can do it. Um, just a little bit more tinkering, but there were some tricks to doing that. And um, I had thought about just filming the whole thing. Oh look. Here's Papa. <laughs> um, but I just, you know what, when I get in the zone and I'm doing something, you know, I don't want people calling me. I don't want people coming over. I just want to get it done, you know. And I got it done and I love it. It is just gorgeous. It is such a cute thing. I would ha love to have like five or six more of them, but, you know, there is no way I will ever be able to afford to buy even one of those. So, Alice... I gotta tell you, girl, phew, you made my day. You made a dream come true, an actual nice coop. I mean, I got the van coop, and that's pretty safe, and that's okay. I mean, it's a pretty cool chicken coop. I don't like the other one that I built over there with the tarps over the cage. Um, that's what the Easter eggers are in right now. But, Alice, that is just such... When I think chicken coop, that's the kind of coop that I think of in my head that would be awesome and now I've got one anyhow I gotta get some ice um, I gotta go relax basically just chill out maybe I'll get some bricks around it today maybe not I don't have enough bricks that are all of the same size to go underneath the entire you know coop um, to get it up off the ground a little bit and you have to you know you just can't put one here and one here and one here you've got to put it all around so I'm gonna get some actual pavers and just do it that way do it right um, but for now it's just gonna be like it is and it's okay um, but to line the outside of it with bricks will definitely keep things safer for whichever chickens I think it's gonna be the Easter eggers Easter eggers and maybe Rocky I don't know uh, maybe throw Olive in there. Um, yeah, Olive is kind of like a sitting duck. She's a white chicken, and she just likes to get out there by herself and just hunt and peck around. Um, and hawks, I've, I've got this hawk up in my tree. It will not leave. I've been shooting. Now, I don't want to shoot it to hurt it with my BB gun, but I've been shooting close to it and scaring it away when it gets down close. So far, that's been effective. Anyhow, um, I'm just rambling, so I think we can go ahead and cut this video now, don't you? Yep, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video.
Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.